Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, the UK visa that I applied for, a uh, follow up from my last video. Um, the visa that I applied for and was accepted for um, is the UK Youth Mobility Scheme visa. Uh, so that visa is a points based visa and it is uh, for people between the ages of 18 to 30. Um, with that being said, you do have to have a certain amount of money in your bank account. Um, and you do have to be from certain countries. So because I'm from Canada, um, I had the right amount of money and I fit within the, the age range, um, it was kind of a no brainer uh, for them to approve the visa for me. Um, so there are, I believe, six different locations that you can go to within Canada. Toronto um, being the main visa center. Um, and then I believe there's Halifax, St. John's, Ottawa, Edmonton, and Vancouver. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Um, so I ended up going to Vancouver um, because my brother was living in there at the time and I figured why not two birds with one stone. Um, but I did have to pay an extra hundred dollars for my application, um, which in total I think was about twelve hundred dollars. Um, so you fill out the application online um, and then once that's filled out you'll book an appointment at whichever visa center that you prefer um, and then from there you have to make your own travel plans um, if you do live in one of those cities you're lucky um, but yeah i think toronto is the only one that doesn't charge the extra 100 dollars fee because they're the main location any other location you have to pay an extra hundred dollars on your application um, so with that being said um, Christina and I, um, the girl that I'm traveling with, um, we traveled to Vancouver. Uh, we just stayed in an Airbnb and um, we went the day before our visa appointments just in case anything happened with the flights or anything and then we stayed for a day after. So we were there for a total of three days. Now the appointment, um, I believe hers was at 12.15 and mine was at 12.30. So we got there a little bit early to be safe and it's a waiting room and of course this is just for the Vancouver because that's all I experienced. Um, there's a little waiting room and um, they called us both in at the same time because we requested to be together. Um, and then they took us into another room, an even smaller room. It looked kind of like a small office. There was a desk and a bunch of chairs and there was a whole bunch of people in there. Um, and we were waiting quite a while uh, before we were able to go in. Um, then Christina went in first and then I followed shortly after. Um, so they basically quickly scan your visa application. Like they just look through it super quick, um, get you to enter your mailing address so they can send all of your stuff back as you do need to leave your passport there as well as your application because the visa uh, you get is actually a sticker and they put that inside of your passport. Um, and then once you get to wherever you're going, um, you have to pick up your biometrics card. So it's like a, a solid ID card of the size of a credit card. Um, you keep that on you and that's what gives you permission to work and live. Um, so yeah, the one lady did all of that and then I hopped over to another lady. She took um, my digital fingerprints and then she took a photo and that was it, we were done. Um, so then we went home and we waited, I would say probably about two weeks for us to get it back. Um, they did say when we went in that we would be getting um, an email confirmation that we would be approved, but the only email I got was an update on my tracking for the return of my passport. So I knew that once my passport got to me, I would have my answer. So of course, once the passport arrived, it was in um, uh, a registered envelope, so I had to sign for it, I had to be home for it. I actually took the day off work because I knew it was coming and I just, I had to know. So um, I got my visa and it had all the paperwork in it. Um, they put the sticker inside and when you fill out your visa application, you're actually able to choose um, where you pick up your biometrics card. Um, so we chose, it's a, it has to be a post office because post office um, are able to verify your identity. So of course you have to bring your passport and everything. Um, so we chose um, just a post office that was close to the Airbnb that, Airbnb that we were staying at. Um, 
and yeah, so the the sticker that comes the sticker visa that comes inside your passport is good for 30 days from the day that you get there. So we knew that we would be getting there February 13th. We leave Winnipeg February 12th. We'll get there February 13th. So our visa is good from February 13th to March 13th. And then after that, we have to have our biometrics card. They do give you a 10 day window to get it once you um, get there. So um, yeah, we just made sure that we were close to it so we could get it quickly. Now we're getting really close, like it's January 9th. Um, so I'm leaving in about a month and I'm getting nervous and there's so many things that I feel like I need to do before I go. Um, but I know that all of these little things have been taken care of. So we have an Airbnb for the first two weeks. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to find a flat in that period of time. If not, we'll just have to extend our stay. I found that that was probably the best option because um, looking at hostels, I thought that they were gonna be cheapest, um, but we were requiring something that had Wi-Fi because we would need to be on the internet to look for flats in the area. Um, and we also needed something that had a lockup. So something, you know, we're, cause we're gonna have all of our luggage with us. And that's looking about $30 Canadian a night. Um, and we ended up finding this Airbnb for $54 a night. Um, and it's an entire apartment. So, I mean, it, the, the choice is obvious. So we've got that for two weeks. If we can't find anything, hopefully we can extend our stay or find another Airbnb or go to a hostel from there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all the information I have at this point. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.